Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP New Syntax and now in this video we will cover the corresponding operator. Now before we discuss what is the purpose of corresponding operator as a part of new syntax SAP ABAP New Syntax, firstly we will understand the process. I will go for the program. Suppose I am saying we have a structure which has five columns. I have another structure which has three columns. This internal table is referring to first structure. It means this internal table has five columns. Second internal table is referring to this structure. It means this internal table has three columns. Now, from first internal table, we need to pass that data to second internal table. Both internal tables have different structure. Number of columns are different. Okay, it might be the case number of columns are same. But the columns are not matching. Only few columns are matching. Others are not matching. It might be the case the columns are matching, but sequence is not matching. It means two internal tables have different structure. Whenever the internal table structures are different and you want to pass the data from one internal table to another internal table, it is very, I'll say previously, we need to write so much lines of code. Suppose simple example. Our data is in this internal table. How we can move the data to another internal table which has a different structure? So in that case, you need to put a loop onto first internal table. One by one, you will pass the data to work area. From that work area, you will pass the data to another work area. And that work area is used to insert the data to new internal table. Just see if the internal table structures are different to pass the data from one internal table to another internal table. It's very, I say, we need to write so much lines of code. Then we need to use the append statement to insert that data to another internal table. Now what SAP is saying, in SAP ABAP new syntax, I am simply, simply giving you corresponding keyword or corresponding operator. With the help of that, you can simply, simply pass the data of one internal table to another internal table. Simply, previously it was not possible at all that you can move the data of one internal table to another internal table which has different structure. I am talking about different structure. If same structure is there, then there is no problem. Suppose simple example. I am declaring one more internal table. Suppose LT underscore data to type table of LTY underscore data. Now you can see LT data and LT data 2 both have same to same structure. Both are referring to same structure. It means LT data also has five column. LT data 2 has also five column. Sequence is same. Everything is same. So structure are same. If structure are same, you can simply simply write LT underscore data 2 is equal to LT underscore data. If structures are same, no problem at all. We can simply move the data of one internal table to another internal table. No difficulty. But if structures are different and in real projects, this is most most common requirement. One internal table has 10 column, another has 15 column. If both have 15 columns, 5 are matching, 10 are not matching and we want to move the data of matching column. In that case, it is very difficult. We need to put the loop, we need to move the data one by one, then we need to append to final internal table. So what SAP is saying, 
in the new syntax, I'm simply, simply giving you a corresponding keyword. With the help of that, you can simply move that data of one internal table to another internal table. And yes, structures are different because if it is same structure, you can simply write equal to. Many times people will simply write this also. Append lines of LT data to LT underscore data. In that case, both internal tables have same structure. So we can use equal to also, we can use append lines also of one internal table to another internal table. But if structures are different, then we are using this way previously. Now SAP simply, simply give the, I'll say easiest way that there's nothing to do with this. Just use the simply corresponding keyword. Now, firstly, I will read the theory, then I will come on to the practical part. So if I'm coming on to the theory, previously to move that data from one internal table to another internal table, which has different structure. So firstly, you are passing that data from one work area to another work area. Then you are using append that append statement to insert that data to another internal table. This is what we know previously always. Now what SAP is saying, just use the corresponding operator to move that data between the internal tables. Just see here. If now I will go for the syntax. This is your one internal table. This is your another internal table. We just use the corresponding. What corresponding will do? It will simply move the data of matching columns from LT data to LT data one. Just see. Now we have the various versions of corresponding. If we are simply using corresponding, then what it will do? it will move that data of matching columns from one internal table to another internal table. It means it will move that data of matching columns of LT data to LT data one. Just see, this internal table has five columns. This internal table has three columns. Just see how many matching columns. VBELN, VBELN. ER dat, ER dat. So whenever I will use corresponding, it will move that data of these two columns from LT data to LT data one. Now, simply, simply. So now I will go for second thing. Now we have the further, I'll say, version of corresponding. Now it might be the case you want to move, you do not want to move the data of some selected column. A simple example from these five column internal table you want to move the data to this particular internal table LT data one if you are using corresponding VBELN will go to VBELN VBELN will go to VBELN ER dat will also go to ER dat anyways this third column is not matching now we do not want to go for this ER dat. We only only want to go for VBELN. We do not want to go for, or we do not want to move the data of ER dat. In that case, you can simply, simply use the keyword accept. Accept ER dat. So corresponding, what it will do, it will move the data of matching columns from one internal table to another internal table. If you will use accept, if you will use accept, in that case, you will simply, simply restrict that column. That column data will not move. In that case, we can only, only move the data of the selected columns. This is widely used feature because sometimes we only want to move the data of selected columns. In that case, you can use accept keyword. So those column data will not match. Now third, corresponding with mapping, mapping. Word itself is saying we can map one column with another column. Just see the example what I have taken. Corresponding. 
but corresponding will do. VBELN will go to VBELN. ER dad will go to ER dad. Now here we have U name column. Here we have ER num. Now the columns name are not matching. So corresponding will not move that data. But I have a keyword mapping. So if I will use the keyword mapping, I'm writing ER num data, ER num data will go to U name column. So in that case, you can map that data of one column to another column also. Just see how the flexibility it is. You can use accept also, you can use map also, you can simply use corresponding also. So these all are the versions of the corresponding widely widely used anyways whenever we will do the practical you will get the full full understanding so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we are covering the corresponding operator what is the purpose of corresponding operator the purpose of corresponding operator is to move the data of one internal table to another internal table and yes, it is preferable if both internal tables have different structure. If it is same structure, then there is no need of corresponding. You can simply, simply use equal to. Equal to or append lines of one internal table to another internal table. Nothing you have to do. If both have same number of column, nothing. Now, after that, previously, what the approach we know? If two internal tables have different structure, you cannot move the data. Previously, you cannot move the data of one internal table to another internal table, which has different structure. Previously, what we are doing? We are putting a loop onto one internal table. We are simply passing the data to another internal table and we are failing that. Now, SAP is saying rather than doing this, I am giving you a corresponding keyword. Just use the corresponding keyword to move the data from one internal table to another internal table. And we have the various version. If we are simply using corresponding, so it will move the data of matching columns. If we will use corresponding and we will use accept with that, then in that case, those column data will not map we will not go so it will only it is helpful to move the data of the selected column now we have corresponding with mapping also we can move or we can map the data of one column to another column also with the help of mapping these are the very very useful features and important because in sap abap new syntax sap gave the provision to directly move the data of internal tables having different structure. Previously, this provision was not there. Now, in the next video, we will go for same to same practice which we are following. Firstly, I will show you how we are moving the data previously to internal tables which have different structure. Then I will show you everything through corresponding keyword. And just see here also, I will explain through hash because now we all know what is hash. Yes, hash is very important. You already studied in con, you already studied in switch, then you already studied in value. Now we will learn in corresponding also because hash is a common thing which is applicable everywhere. Yes. So now that's it in this particular video. Thank you.